Let's make history. So the Boeing company, we've always recognized it as being synonymous with excellence as far as the construction of aircraft. However, since 2024 hit about two and a half months ago, that has been quickly unraveling. I'm talking about doors flying off of airplanes while there's 16,000 feet in the air. The top story, the list just got longer. United Airlines under scrutiny tonight after a string of mechanical problems involving their Boeing 737 planes. The latest happening today when a piece of a plane apparently fell off somewhere between SFO and its destination in Oregon. This is the seventh issue with a United Jet in just the past few weeks. But this isn't anything new. This scandal has actually been going back 14 years to 2008 when a 30-something-year-old employee pled guilty to purposely cutting 70 wires on a military helicopter that they were constructing. And he blamed the fact that he was just stressed out and sick and tired of such a dead-end mundane job. Though it, be, it would be considered by the average person to be a good job, but that doesn't take away from the fact that just mundane empty work was just driving him crazy guy got sentenced to five months in jail then five months uh, of house arrest which i'm surprised he didn't get more considering he was putting other people's lives at risk and three years later there was actually a raid because there was a fentanyl oxycontin ring within one of the plants i believe was in pennsylvania two dozen people were indicted then not long after that, the news service, Al Jazeera, their little news segment where they were interviewing people from a Boeing plan. They were saying how hard drugs is totally easy to get there. And uh, many of the employees at any given time are actually high on coke, meth, painkillers, you name it. They said you could get all of that stuff as if it was nothing. They actually have some pretty high quality weed there too, the guy mentioned. So they don't drug test. Then in 2022, there was a love triangle that turned tragic. There's a guy in his 40s, middle-aged guy, and he was having a secret love affair with his supervisor. For many years, this was going on. Then one day he finds out that she's also sleeping with somebody else, a 20-something-year-old guy in the same department. He was always known to be a hothead. He followed the guy one day and a couple feet from the plant where they both worked, shot the guy, killed him, then turned the gun on himself, killed himself. Now you fast forward to 2024, Boeing is failing audits left and right. A whistleblower comes out, uh, and just before the whistleblower was about to testify against Boeing, he supposedly kills himself under suspicious circumstances someone in his personal life came forward and said that he actually told her that if something happens to me i'm telling you now it is absolutely not suicide let me know what you think in the comments subscribe to will flores tv on youtube follow me on tiktok instagram and x